Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I had did a advanced stamping um, nail design and I had posted um, on Facebook and everyone was asking me if I had did a video which since I already did that nail design I'm just going to do something similar. Um, so I'm going to be using Queen SE01B and these flowers right here and Mundo de Una stamping polish and I don't have the names off the top of my head which I'll leave them down below this is 20 5 and 14 I'm going to be doing a gradient stamp and then on the ring finger I'm going to use similar polishes uh, to do advanced stamping so for the gradient stamping what you want to do is uh, pick out your colors and then apply them in a line Okay, and then when you scrape, you want to scrape a few times so they blend. And go side to side, just very little. And then I'll be using my Creative Shop stamper for this. Okay, some of these polishes do stamp over black, um, but this one I don't, I don't think does. It showed up a little bit um, since this is a dark color, and the base that I have is Hidden Gems by L'Oreal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to do the gradient stamping on my middle and my pointer finger. Okay, so to continue to do the advanced stamping, um, go ahead and clean your plate. And I'm going to be using uh, Mundo, Mundo de Una Stamping Polish in black. Okay, and then what you want to do for this, here I have Plum Seduction from Revlon, and it's similar to that pinkish fuchsia color. And this is the same technique that I used um, in my previous manicure that I had posted on Instagram. Here is Sally Hansen Blew Me Away. and OPI Roadhouse Blues, which is a purple. Okay, and then you want to get a tool that you can apply the nail polish, and you want to be careful that you don't pick up the stamp.
Okay, so once you have that complete, um, you can add white to it if you'd like. In my last design, I had used um, neon colors and added clear polish to them to make it lead light. And I wish I would have put um, white over the top so it would stand up on black. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and apply white to the only color, or to the color only. And then I'll meet you back with the next step. Okay, so I had applied the white and I had used OPI Alpine Snow and I used Sesh V to do one top coat. And you want to let it um, dry just a few minutes. And then what you want to do is you want to apply, apply pressure and then leave it down until it picks up. Okay, so what you want to do is just go ahead and clean up and I'll meet you back with the end design. Okay, so after you clean up, you want to go ahead and top coat. And as I was top coating the other ones, I had mentioned that the pink um, didn't show up on black. But I believe it's the purple. I, I think, I'm pretty sure the purple doesn't show up on black. It does a little bit. Um, but you can also check out her Instagram page. It's... Uh, Mundo de Unis stamp or no just Mundo de Unis and I'll leave the um, her name her Instagram name down below so you can check out the color chart so I hope that you liked this video and found it helpful so I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching